hitchhikers. Do you want to stop? Yes, yeah, go in. See what they're doing. Now, what are you girls doing here? Oh, we're going to the coast. Where about did you come from? Uh, Brisbane. Haven't you thought you could get into some trouble hitchhiking to the coast? Have you ever hitchhiked before? Oh, yeah. Never had any hassle. I think it would be a lot safer if you got a bus down. There's a bus back at the service station. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, I'd like to get some particulars from you before we go. Now, what's your name, thanks? Julie Lewis. Where do you live, Julie? 23, Calvin Grove Road, Red Hill. Whereabouts do you live? Same place. And what's your name, thanks? Cathy Anderson. OK, girls, how about going back to that bus stop and getting a bus down? the coast? Oh, great. Emergency, which service, please? Oh, please, please. Connecting, please. Police operations. Sergeant McKenzie speaking. Oh, hello. Can you help me, please? I've been raped. He's still got Julie. Tell me your name. And where you are. Oh, um, I don't know where I am. I really don't. Are you in a public telephone box? Yes. Can you see the number? 3720. Two five. You want? Would you check this number with Telecom, please? Yes, will do. Are you there? Look, we'll be sending the police car as soon as we get the location of the telephone box. Central Telephone Exchange, Supervisor Eva Baird speaking. Police here, Sergeant Ferguson speaking. Yes, Sergeant Ferguson. Please fly me with the location of telephone box number 372-005-U1. 372-005-U1. Hold the line, please, Sergeant. Sergeant, we do have four strong views from the rape squad. Come for the telephone, please. Yes, okay. Yes, the phone box you're looking for is in Argyle Street, near Clipper Street, Beanley. Thank you. Speak out at 6.30. Location, please. Pacific Proceed to the telephone box, corner of Argyle and Clipper Street, Beanley. Take up with Cathy Anderson, read code 102. Constable Booth speaking. Can I help you? Oh, this guy, he picked us up and he really knocked us around. He's still got Julie. Now calm down and tell me your name and your friend's name. Well, I'm Cathy Anderson and, and um, Julie, Julie um, Lewis. 
Are you safe there now? Are you all right? Oh, we could come back. We're sending the police car out to you now. And I'll be coming out, so I'll hand you back to the sergeant. Okay. Oh, there's only one. Oh, of course, well, Booth, I spoke to you on the telephone before. Are you all right? Do you need a doctor? Oh, I'm all right. Just, you know. Oh, yes, I think. Um, well, could you tell me then what happened, please? Um, well, we're hitching down the coast, Julie and I, and, um, you know, we, this car pulled up and we just Excuse hopped me, in. Excuse me, Sharon, I'll just butt in here for a minute. Miss, look, can you describe this car to me, please? I Just go through it and think about every detail about the car you can, eh? What well, was red? I know that. Um, I, it was a Valiant. Yeah. Was it a sedan or a wagon or um, a... a station wagon? It wasn't a panel van. No, no. 360 VKR. Go ahead, 360. Your VKR, will you put a B on the lookout over for us, please? It's a late model, red, all red Valiant station wagon, driven by a male person, and it's believed to have a, an injured female in the passenger seat. Message received. Brisbane, the police aircraft one, advise your location. Police aircraft one, Mike, Caloundra area. On a road survey. Big R, Brisbane, the police aircraft one. Would you proceed to the Beanley area to be on the lookout for a red Valiant station sedan for the abduction of a young girl approximately one hour ago? Five 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 five, Mike, we'll proceed immediately to Beanley area. One, keep the vehicle under observation until I find. Seat there, Ron. Yeah, some up here on this door too. I think we better call for some branch assistance on this. See, I've been Superintendent Gallagher. That red car in which the young girl was abducted has been located, up, and there's blood stains on it. And homicide suspected. Right, I'll get someone to go out and attend to that. Okay. What have you found so far, Ron? I only left the car at the moment, sir. There's blood on the seat and on the door. We haven't uh, moved from here. We haven't looked around at all. You haven't been place. anywhere even past here at all? No, no, just at the car at the moment. Sir. Look, there's quite a lot of blood around here, Inspector. There'd have to be a body around here somewhere. Hey, fellas, I think we've got something here. Badly battered about the head there, Joe. Any pulse there, Bob? No, there's no pulse. Rigor mortis is set in here. Ron, will you call on the radio urgently for a photographer, scientific men, and uh, notify the government medical officer? There's been signs of a struggle here. Yes, looks as though she's had a good fight around here, all right. Better secure this scene and let nobody else hear. <laughs> Let it go. 
Some good prints here, Owen. Looks like his full right hand. Looks like they'd be probably searchable prints. Oh, good ones, too. Yeah. Funny place to have them. Here on the floor. Right, I'll start checking the hubcaps. Looks like they've hidden a deal in here. Smells like the right stuff. Looks good quality. BKR advised Superintendent Gallagher to ensure that a check is made of all drug offenders with the description given by the rates victim. Uh, well, I can hear about this one here, there's a few more curls on top there. Yeah, this bit of it it's kind of um, comes down beside his face and it's kind of square. Okay, uh, I'll try this one here, how's that? Yeah, that's better. All right, how are those eyes there in there? Yeah. That's very close. I think if you take a photograph from that angle showing the whole body and then we'll show these injuries in detail later on. Uh, this particular injury up here, this mark, is there any explanation for that? Yes, Victor? Doctor, there was a large rock found near the body with blood on it. Mm. And uh, we think that was the murder weapon. Yeah. 